Here it comes. I just want to show you because it makes a very, very nice CSV file. See? Um, there, there are all of the terms. And then right over here is the Word Tracker account, the Google account, Yahoo, MSN, overall daily estimates. And then it's got the exact match and everything else over there. But I like this because I can go into Word Tracker and run what I want in my general, you know, uh, thing. Get all my and get all my suggestions here, and all of the um, statistics right along with it in a CSV file, so I don't have to be fooling around online. Okay. So hold on. Now we get to come out of desktop sharing. <laughs> There. <laughs> now, were you guys able to follow that? I'm sorry about the, having the, all the, the strange stuff go on and getting knocked out all the time. At least you guys didn't get knocked out. It's just me. Uh, so, those are the things that, that um, I use. I use the, you know, sometimes I use the Google um, Keyword Planner, but mostly I use the Word Tracker at SEO Book. And I use the Google search the same way we always did. But I'm not paying attention, really, to how many times something is searched in the, every month. I don't really care. Because if, as long as I'm posting on my subject, I'm going to get found for all sorts of things that can't be found at the Google Keyword Planner or at Word Tracker. So does anybody have any questions about all this stuff? Go ahead and put it in the text chat if you do or you can have the mic. Wilbert says he hates you, you, you do mainly stuff in Spanish and you waste so much time looking for good targeted keywords. Yeah, you know, uh, the, th the thing is, Wilbert, don't waste the time anymore. You know what you're writing about, you know. Uh, if it pops up in the search, in the Google search, um, uh, I can give That's what I was saying. I would just look for the words in the Google search. If they show up in the Google search, they are being used as keywords. They are searched. So, uh, you know, yeah, SEO Presser still works great. You want to have your on-page SEO done correctly, you know. But so you want to use, with the new version of SEO Presser, you want to use um, the three keywords and you want to make sure those three keywords are keywords that are searched and then you want to put together a nice blog post that's optimized correctly using your SEO presser so that your on-page SEO is correct and put it out there but mainly you have it revolve around what you want to say and not worry about how many times things are searched every month because as the, the LSI keywords and that whole system will ensure that you'll get found for all sorts of things as long as you're putting good information up about your subject. SEO book, Paul. You can find it there. All right. Um, that, that will take you to the SEO book place, and then you can set up a free account and... Uh, then you can use their their tool, but um, it really it's so much easier. I don't I just don't worry about this stuff anymore. Don, let's Don says as we are discovering, if we just put out good information on the one you know revolving around natural health, um, and then when we do a blog post, for instance, we'll pick a keyword for that from our list of you know a long list of different keywords. Like if it's a weight loss one, we'll look at our weight loss um, keywords and we'll say, okay, I'm using this one this time. And we'll make our blog post about, you know, built around that keyword or, or, or three of them, you know. Um, and that's it. Then we'll just turn these, these out. And as I say, we're getting found for all sorts of things. Yeah. 
Yeah. So anybody got any questions? That's it, guys. It's a lot simpler than it used to be. Um, and uh, I would just, uh, you know, concentrate on writing good information about your subject. Have some keywords that you know are searched, um, that are, you know, search terms that people use that you come back to and you use all the time in your writing. And uh, just, uh, you know, figure out, okay, I'm, today I'm writing about this song, subject, so which of my keywords fit that subject? Okay, I'll use these. Uh, and then tomorrow I'm writing about this subject, uh, this part of my, you know, of, of my, my subject, and uh, for that I'll use those three keywords. And that's it. Just turn it out and do it. Don't try to do this laser focused on one keyword thing anymore because it doesn't work. And uh, if you do this, and like John says, have a little patience, um, and you won't need much because you'll start, as long as you're good, doing good distribution, you will get found. And it'll start, you know, it'll start paying off very quickly. We've only been doing the tips about healthy living thing since, um, actually, it's, it's, it, we're getting close to six months now. But if we don't do anything on it, if we don't post anything for a couple weeks, we still don't go below 30 or 35, you know, 25, 35 visitors a day. And that's just from getting found in search engines. So, um, you know, and you, that adds up over the course of a month. You know, 25 a day adds up. Multiply it by 30. <laughs> and, you know, you're getting visitors, a nice amount of visitors per month. Um, and then if you do more and you stay, stay consistent, you get more visitors. So um, that's it. I guess if there's no questions, you guys, if you have questions, you can Skype me. You know where to, how to get in touch with me and things like that. Um, there's my email. There's my Skype name. You can, uh, you know, always find me. I know Janet and Don are, um, Don, you're going to be doing more about curation this weekend, I, uh, uh, I suppose. And, uh, you know, that, that'll be, it'll be your part two on curation on Saturday. Janet's gone. So cool. That'll be a really cool one. I really liked last week. That was very cool. And I'm glad you're doing it because it's a, it's a really neat technique. And, uh, you know, uh, it, it takes away a lot of, uh, especially in conjunction with this, it takes away a lot of pressure for people who don't, feel that confident about writing, you know. So tune in with Don this Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern at GetLiveTraining.com, and we'll be talking all about how to do curation. That's very, very cool. All right, and uh, next week, uh, I have uh, no idea at all. <laughs> what we're